Hi, Michelle Harvey here, Rise Above Coach. Thank you so much for subscribing to my video slash article. Um, today's article is entitled, Get That Toilet Seat Down, which you might be thinking, that's kind of an odd topic for an article. However, what it's really about, as you will see, um, is how to communicate your wants and needs in a healthy and effective way to your partner. And that's not always as easy as it sounds. So um, with that being said, let me paint a scenario for you. Listen to this. Honey, I thought I told you to put that toilet seat down. How many times do I have to freaking tell you? And then while I'm already mad, I'll go ahead and ask, weren't you supposed to take the trash out? And what's up with that squeaky door you were supposed to fix? Do you ever listen to me? Sound familiar? Well, the toilet seat can be a major source of contention for cohabitating couples. I don't know why, but that ivory oval can really seem to turn up the heat in a relationship. Truly though, the toilet seat is just a symptom of an underlying problem in communication, and it's all too common in couples, especially following the honeymoon phase of any relationship. Now, an important note, if you were hoping that this article slash video was really about getting the toilet seat down, I do hear that Amazon sells a toilet seat alarm that will actually go off when it's left up. So you can check that out on your own time. But really um, what I'd like to share with you is that that underlying um, problem with communication can really be um, made better um, with three easy ways, okay? So the first one is timing. Now I'm sure you've heard the saying that timing is everything. Well, there's a reason for that saying. When your partner gets home from a long and exhausting day at work, he's looking stressed, he's looking haggard, he's looking like he just argued with his boss, that's probably not a good time to remind him that he owes you a massage that he said he was going to give you. And it makes total sense, think about it. When you have had a crappy day at work, the last thing you wanna do is worry about somebody else's needs because you've been doing that all day long. So you would rather just plop down in front of the TV, not talk, maybe do yoga if you're into that sort of thing and really just not deal with something else that you have to do. So timing your requests is very critical. You wanna catch your partner ideally when they are in an open frame of mind, when they're in a good mood. You know, we all used to do that when we were kids. You know, like, ooh, I really want an ice cream, but I can see that mom's not in a good mood right now, so let me ask her when she's smiling. Um, the same applies to your relationship, and we can tend to forget that when we, you know, your partner walks in and you just, that's the first thing that you're thinking of. So that probably also means refraining from making requests of your partner um, during game seven of his favorite team's playoffs. Make sense? All right. The second way that you can help um, your communication in your relationship is word choice. So I'm going to say two phrases and you are gonna choose the one that you would rather hear. You're an insensitive prick. Or, I really feel like you aren't considering my needs right now. So again, which would you rather hear? Because words, believe it or not, have power and you need to choose wisely because even though sometimes your mind might be screaming to say exactly what's on your mind, like freaking unloading a verbal volcano all over them, try to repress that urge and really stop and take a step back and think. So unfortunately you can't take back uh, words once you've said them. So when you feel like a volcano is about to erupt out of your mouth, do yourself, and your partner a favor and take a step back, take a few minutes, carefully craft your speech in your mind, pretend as though someone was about to say this same thing to you. Now, harsh words can effectively get the job done from time to time, but they can often lead to resentment and bitterness over a long period of time. So it's best to just 
you know, choose your words wisely. So that's, that's a simple number two. And the third one is to choose your battles, okay? And we've heard that saying before as well. Some issues are worth getting to the root of and duking it out, and some are not. Your partner might have some quirks that aren't so endearing to you, but keep in mind you probably have some too. He may not appreciate where you choose to hang your bras or where you choose to put the hair that comes out of your head in the shower, those sorts of things. So, oh, oops, oh, ignore that. Um, yeah, so there are some things that we do that aren't quite so endearing to them. So some of the small things, don't waste your energy on those. You can overlook those. And you may actually over time learn to appreciate your partner's quirks. Um, however, there are big deal breakers and those are worth mentioning up front. So one good way to, um, to do that is you can say to your partner, hey, I can overlook X, but when you do Y, that's a real button pusher for me. And then you can also say, how can we get to a place of mutual understanding on this issue? So basically kind of choosing what you are willing to overlook and what you are not willing to overlook. And then might be a good idea to say, okay, so I told you the toilet seat is a big deal to me. Um, is there something that I'm doing? What are your hot button issues? And really kind of um, ask them for theirs and be open to hearing what they have to say in a calm and peaceful state of mind. Um, you know, it's really not all about that base, about that base. It's all about that compromise. Compromise is a huge um bold word for relationships. So um, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed hearing about three simple things to be mindful of when you're trying to get your wants and needs heard and met. Here's hoping that you will finally end up walking into your bathroom one day and finding the toilet seat down. And if not, you better hit up Amazon stat.